First off, I found this early 2000s Nike t-shirt, only really picking it up because of the tag and it was only a pound. Um, these sell really well on Depop for about 20 to 30, depends on the graphic. Then we've got a French Connection Gilet, £3.50, just really need some winter stock. It is pretty faded, but I quite like that. I was so buzzing to find this, it's a Jelly Cat plush, it was £1.49 and it is actually a retired frog. Um, some of them go for crazy money, there's a frog that goes for like 500 to 800 Shame it isn't this one, but the pattern is so sick. Then we picked up some Joseph Ribkoff, always picking it up because it sells really well on eBay. The design of these is really sick with the buttons, they're quite wide leg and flowy. 4 dollars is like probably 40 to 50 Then I spotted some ties. So we always pick them up if they look kind of vintage. They're really easy to list, easy to post, and don't take up much space. Kind of overpaying at £3 for these, but we should be able to get about 15 back for them each. And they're pretty cool. We got a bit of a poo obsession at the minute. That sounded bad. Winnie the Pooh obsession. In the same shop, I picked up these Oscar trousers. They were £10, which we were kind of um in and ah and about, but we're gonna be listing them for about 60. The linen, the pattern is really funky. And shout out to Luxury Pickers, because they put us onto this brand and it's really good. In the next shop, we got a nice little stack. We got this YSL short sleeve shirt, all black with the embroidered logo, £4. Should be looking at about 20 to 25. Then we also found this Musto fleece, it's brown as well, I feel like this should do really well, probably like 30 on eBay. Musto is a great brand to look out for but we haven't sold one yet so I'm not too sure. Frasher t-shirt, £2.50, looking at about 20 on Depop especially, and then some mint velvet. So it was £3 and it was linen so that's basically the reason we picked it up. And then we found some Adidas vintage shorts. I love the colour of these and the pattern. They're only £3.50, but I'm pretty sure they are bootleg. Not too sure about that keep away from fire tag. I've never seen that in an Adidas piece, so pretty sure they're fake, but they'd fit me, so I'm going to keep them for myself. Now this is Laura Ashley, the proper vintage ones. Look out for that tag, because that's the ones you want to be looking for. Um, another one that Jazz picked up. Then we've got a Weird Fish graphic t-shirt, so this is by the movie Rambo, sure you can probably make that out, but these like spoof t-shirts do really well on eBay and Depop, paid up slightly £5.50 but should be able to get about 25 Now next, this is what you've all been waiting for, a bit of Supreme in the thrift, not the most desirable piece but I couldn't leave it behind. We paid £5 for it, but was it worth picking up? In the same shop, I found these LL Bean sandals or flip flops. They were £3.50. I was kind of shocked at that because everything else was kind of overpriced. But then these, they usually go for like 25 to 30 I think, especially in the US. They are women's size 10, so maybe that's why. Now I found a couple of Terry Pratchett books. I always see Brum reseller picking these up and bundling them together, getting strong prices. These were probably a bit too expensive to do that. And then another Oscar piece. This is just like a sleeveless top. We had one before and it sold really, really fast for like solid money. Okay, so there are some bits that I didn't manage to actually record, so I'll run you through them now. I won't cover the bits that we got in the clips because I've already talked about them. So in the same shop that I picked up the Joseph Rickoff trousers, these were like pretty much next to them. They're just a pair of Kappa joggers. They've got like tons of branding on them. They're really cool. I really wish these were my size because I am actually looking for a pair myself. Um, but they've actually got the poppers going down a size as well. There's a bit more value in these. Um, should be listing them for about 25 to 30, I think. The only downside is that they are a size small, but like, yeah, it's just classic Y2K kind of style. Um, and yeah, I'm sure these will do really well on Depop. I think I paid like 450 for them. The next item is really unusual. Um, never seen anything really like it, 
but I have done really well with Western shirts before. This is another Western shirt. It's by the brand Gran Lida, I think. It, I'm pretty sure it's made in Mexico. Um, it says Mexico all over the tag, but it's not in English. Um, so a bit more research, I guess. It's got these like embroidered horses on it, which is really sick. Um, just on both sides, again, loads of pockets, the buttons as well, just a bit different. Um, yeah, this could be really good for like a costume or like, yeah, for some reason Western stuff does sell really well in the UK. I'm not too sure why because I've never seen someone walking down the street in like a Western shirt, but... And yeah, this was only £3. I have listed it for 40 The actual brand, there's a few bits on like eBay and Depop. Um, I think I saw one bit of clothing for like £80. And then there's a lot of like um, boots for like 30 to 40 So I've just kind of put a price out there and we'll kind of accept offers on it. Again, you're not gonna see a piece like it, especially in the UK, if it is made in America or Mexico. In the same shop, I picked up this Sergio Toshini uh, jumper. A really nice like stripe design. Again, a proper Y2K kind of piece. That Western shirt really wasn't, but the uh, Kappa joggers were. This one's just got like an embroidered logo. Tag looks a bit older. Um, it is a size extra large. It doesn't really like measure out to be an XL, but um, obviously the material is more of like, not knitted, but like, not like a super soft, comfy sweatshirt. So it's probably shrank in the wash slightly. I'm not too bothered about that because as long as you include the measurements, it should still sell pretty well. Um, and it's a brand that does really well on Depop, so pick this up for, again, I think £3, and I'm going to list it for about 20 to 25 Then I also picked up this Riders Cup golf jacket. You've got the embroidery there. If you look closely, you'll see one of the dates says 2001, so that's like when it was made, I'm pretty sure. Um, I've seen a few pieces like it online for around the £30 mark. This one's actually made by Proquip um, and it is like a rain shield kind of style jacket. No hood to it, but um, yeah, any golf fan probably like that. Um, it actually says the Balfrey, which is in Birmingham, like West Midlands kind of area. Um, so someone around there might want to rock this. I have had a um, Riders Cup piece before. It was from 2007 and it was like a sleeveless knitted vest. Not like the most desirable piece, whereas this one definitely could be worn a lot more. So I feel like this should do a lot better, especially on eBay. I feel like golf stuff does really well on eBay. Then onto the last two bits, we picked up a DVD. So I never look at DVDs because there's not a lot of money in DVDs. Um, most of the time you have to offer free postage. Uh, but this one is like a skateboard one. This is more of like a promotional skateboard um, DVD. So uh, it actually comes with like two discs, two versions. Um, and one of the skateboarders is called Danny Gonzalez. I'm pretty sure he's quite a popular one. I could be wrong, but I think I've seen his name in like skateboard shops. Um, it's from 2001 and these like Logic skateboard DVDs usually go for like £10, um, which is pretty solid. We paid 50p. It's what, yeah, I don't normally look there, but this time I was with Jazz. Um, because 90% of charity shops are women's clothes, she takes a lot longer to look through every little aspect. Men's section is tiny, so it gives me a lot more time to actually like look in all the other areas, which I don't normally like look in, especially when I'm by myself. I'm just like rushing through trying to get to all the men's sections to, to find the good stuff, because that's the stuff that I want to be selling. But if I can find little cheap things like this, 50p into a tenner, then I'm going to be picking them up every day. So I haven't actually got it with me, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about the Jelly Cat. So yeah, like you would have seen, um, the 
tired ones do really well. Like you would have seen on that comp that I showed before, some of the like retired jelly cats go for crazy money. So yeah, probably one of those things that you should do a bit of research into. A lot of places, if you're going to car boots and charity shops, the plushes are really cheap um, and it's always worth having a little rummage through them. We couldn't actually find the name for the jelly cat that we picked up, but um, yeah, we ended up throwing it into a Facebook group, which is a really good thing to do. If you are like really struggling to research an item, it's definitely worth throwing them into like Facebook groups, especially like the dedicated ones. Like we found a jelly cat dedicated Facebook group, put in there pretty much straight away, we got an answer because there's always going to be people that like are super knowledgeable about these like different items in there always happy to help that's why they create these facebook groups so yeah always one to think about also jelly cat on their website they actually have like a retired section so any piece that they um yeah stop making from a specific year you'll be able to find it all on there um, and that might be a good way to kind of start researching which ones are good to pick up. Right, and then finally, the Supreme Gloves. So, uh, yeah, they were probably the fail of the trip, even though, like, it's Supreme. I had to pick up £5 um, on eBay. They're selling for, like, £7. So it's probably not worth my time, really. So instead, I thought, uh, do something a little bit different. If any of you guys are shopping on T1 on uh, Depop, then just send me a message, put Supreme, um, and I'll throw them into your order. So, yeah. Great, so that was all the pieces. I hope you did enjoy. Thank you for watching. I'll hopefully catch you in the next one. We've had some cracking hauls recently, so you won't want to miss it. There'll be another one next week, so, yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye.